Young handball players from Taichung won two golds earlier this month at the European Handball Festival in Slovenia. Students from Tanzi Elementary School faced teams from all around the world. They brought home two championship titles in the girls' U11 and U12 divisions. The players say the experience was a dream come true and that they're eager to defend their crown next year. Pint-sized handball players run across the court, anticipating their opponent's strategy. Rushing forward, they smoothly intercept a pass. With unmatched rapport, they move the ball across the court. Launching a final throw past the keeper, they score their 22nd goal. Team Taiwan defeated their opponents from France by a margin of 10 goals, winning the U-12 championship title. It was my first time winning a championship. After the game, we all hugged and cried together. Our opponents were very tall and big. It was hard to attack, so to score goals, we relied almost completely on good defense followed by a quick attack. Earlier this month, the girls' handball team from Tanzi Elementary School headed to Slovenia to compete in an international handball championship. For six days in a row, they faced teams from different countries, making their way to the top to win the U-12 title. Their sister team in the U-11 division did just as well. Facing a three-player defense, Tanzi Elementary showcased its finesse. A masterful pass through a gap in the defense led to yet another point. With its powerful offense and defense, Tanzi closed out the game 14-7 to score a second title for Taiwan. It was an honor to represent Taiwan at the competition. It felt like a dream come true. I'm super happy. Next year, we'll go back and win the championship again. I'm very touched because competition abroad can be very tough. And there's a matter of referees. There's a home advantage. The kids were very nervous throughout. The 17 players put the spotlight on Taiwan as they waved their national flag at the tournament's opening ceremony. After returning to Taiwan and resting up for a week, it's now back to training ahead of another competition in August.